Okay, so this video is going to show you how to use the basics of NetLogo. Okay, so the real secret to this is the models library. So if you open that up, they have lots and lots of different models you can use. The ones we're mostly interested in, obviously, are the biology ones. Um, not all of them are great. Um, I don't know all of them, but there's a few that are quite useful for um, biology. So you can open up these models. Um, you can work with them. And don't forget, there's another one down here that's got some pretty decent ones also. Um, and there's lots of other things. So, for example, I'm just going to open up the um, wolf sheep predation. So this is one that basically models predator and prey models. Um, so once you open it up, it loads it, and you have a couple of different things here you can adjust. So ticks here represents basically time, okay? So it's the time you, it's time in a sense. Um, these are the, just the different things you do. So if you click setup, it sets it up with these initial things. And if you hit go, it runs a simulation. So you can see how ticks represents time. So you can run it for about that, that many seconds so you can see the sheep versus the wolves versus the grass and, and the numbers. And you know, so you can click on here and get you know any of the numbers you want um, based on you know their numbers. So if you want kind of like this number, you can get that. Um, some other videos to show you how to export this data into an Excel document, so that helps. Um, you know, you see the ending points here. So then what you can do is you can set this up. You know, we can change the grass regrowth time. We can go and we can see how things shift, okay? So you could see here how you could easily set up this as a IA. There's lots of different variables you can change, lots of variables you can keep the same. Um, so if, if you don't have access to lab equipment and things like that, this is a viable alternative for doing IAs in IV biology, say, for example. Okay? All right, thank you.